Welcome to the Sportscaster Life here on YouTube. I'm Alex Ronzi. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today I wanted to uh, create a little bit of an extra step and a little extra tutorial on a very, very popular video that I produced uh, back in the Broadcaster Hub days, and that is importing stats from the internet into Microsoft Excel, and not only just importing them, but having them in such a way that you're able to do easy calculations, you're able to display them easy, and you're able to get them to automatically update themselves every time you open up the document. Now, I'm not going to go over those steps again. If you do, you can watch the video. I'll link to it in this video and in the description down below. But what I wanted to do is, is solve a little bit of an issue with that video when the stats don't get imported into Excel and when you're not able to uh, to, uh, to access them. So very, very quickly, and I'm not going to go through all the steps, but I'm just going to import uh, the, the Power River Kings player stats here. So I'm going to go to that page. I'm going to copy their, uh, the, the address. I'm going to go to the data ribbon and the from web area. I'm going to paste my link in there. And I'm going to go to that web page. Any kind of running scripts and messages that I get, I'm going to click yes on just to get the, play, the page to display exactly how I want it to. And you'll see these uh, yellow boxes with the black arrows on it uh, that I will be able to select once I get rid of these errors. And I will be able to say, yes, I want to import that table. I'm going to import it at cell A1, and it will import this data. And this will allow me to then set it up to import automatically. Very, very easy, very, very useful. But what happens if you get some data and some tables that won't import? And for an example, we use the Western Hockey League's Lethbridge Hurricanes, and in fact, uh, all the websites uh, kind of based around the, the same system that the Western Hockey League uses uh, doesn't work using that initial Microsoft Excel uh, straight to web through the data ribbon uh, technique. So we go to the Western Hockey League, and just to kind of prove my point here, exact same process. I'm going to copy the address. I'm going to dump it into Microsoft Excel here, and you'll notice uh, that there will likely be a fair number of uh, running scripts uh, messages that we have to kind of cycle through. Once we do that, the page has completely loaded. You'll see that there's the table, there's the information, but there are none of those yellow boxes with the black arrows that I'm able to click on to import those tables. So what do you do? There's a great little workaround, and it involves using uh, Google Docs, and that's available through docs.google.com. I'm using the spreadsheet function uh, in Google Docs, but there's a, a Word function, there's a PowerPoint function in there, there's a few others as well. It's a really, really useful to, a tool. It's entirely web-based as well, and you can access it on your smartphone uh, and uh, tablets and, and anywhere in the world. If you have a Gmail account, if you have a YouTube account or a Google Plus account, you already have access to this, and it is a great free tool. But how do we, I guess, uh, apply it? Uh, to what we want to try and do, and that's get stats into Excel in order for us to use them. We're still going to use that uh, Western Hockey League page because we couldn't get that into Microsoft Excel. You do need a little bit of code, and I'm going to paste, uh, I'm going to include this code in the description down below. Uh, you need a small formula, and the formula is relatively simple. It just starts with an equal sign, and it even prompts you as you go through here. So we're going to do import HTML. And anytime we do a function, we want to open the brackets. And it tells you exactly how to formulate this. So we open the brackets. We want to put our URL inside some quotation marks. And we want to go get our URL. Uh, so that was the Western Hockey League stats page uh, that we wanted to import. So there is our page. So the next thing now we need uh, is a query. And it says down here, either list or table, depending on what type of data you're trying to come in. We are trying to obviously import a list. So we've closed out our URL, comma, and we are going to go with uh, a table because that's what we're going to import. Uh, now, this next uh, number is the number of tables that are on a page. And I've done this earlier just to test it out. So I know that this is number one. This may require some trial and error. So start at one, go to two, go to three. I've never had to go past three on a page. Uh, usually if there's more than three tables, then uh, it can throw up some red flags. Uh, usually it'd be one, two, and three. But this does require a little bit of trial and error. I know for a fact that this is one. Uh, so that's the formula. And all I'm doing is following this example formula right here. Very, very easy to do. Close brackets and hit enter. You can see that it's loading and boom, just like that, there is those stats bought into the website. So there's Braden Burke, 33 games, 9 goals, 41 assists for 50 points. We go straight to the website and we see Braden Burke, 9 games, 41 assists for 50 points. 
So I guess how does this help us get it into Microsoft Excel? Well, we can still do a lot here in Google Spreadsheets, but if your end goal is to get it into Microsoft Excel, then you're able to go and publish this spreadsheet to the web. This will allow it to, uh, I guess, become uh, its own little web page, for lack of a better term. And you can uh, and publish the entire document, or you can publish Sheet 1, and you hit Publish. And yes, you can hit this selection. It'll publish, and it'll give you this website here, which you can hit Control-C to copy. Then you can bring that into Microsoft Excel and follow the same process. So we've still got this uh, data window up, but I'll go from the start. So there's my first cell from data, from web. I'm going to paste that Google, uh, that, uh, Google Docs link in, and I'm going to hit go, and it will load up the page that we have uh, from Google Docs. There's my little yellow arrow with a black box. I'm able to hit import, and it will import the stats as if I took them straight uh, from the Western Hockey League site. It does take a little bit longer, and there are a couple of extra steps. Uh, however, it still achieves the same result. Now, in terms of refreshing, again, there is an extra step. You do have to open up Google Docs. Once you open it, it will automatically refresh. It'll get you the latest information. At that point, you're able to uh, save it. You're able to go and publish it to the web. And now that we have it published, we can automatically republish when changes are made. So as soon as we open it, it automatically pulls the latest information and it automatically saves it. We can then go into Microsoft Excel and we can refresh our data and we can see that we can get the latest information. And from here, once it is in Microsoft Excel, uh, you're able to do a lot with it. Hopefully that helps and it's a nice little workaround for websites that don't work directly with uh, Microsoft Excel and don't work uh, directly in terms of importing data from the web. Web, and hopefully this helps you out in your preparation for future broadcasts. I'm Alex Ronzi. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been the Sportscaster Life here on YouTube.